Hi, I'm Angie Dubas and today I'm going to be demonstrating Biotone's Fresh and Full Hydration Treatment Protocol. Our table setup for this therapy is a fitted sheet, flat sheet, regular blanket, thermal blanket, plastic sheet, two large bath towels for the body, one small hand towel for the head, and then our products are going to be Micro Buff Body Polish, Serenity Massage Lotion, Facial Therapy Micro Refiner, Facial Therapy Massage Cream, and then we'll also need two rubber spa bowls and eight warm moist hand towels. Once our client is on the table, she should be on top of the bottom towel and underneath the top towel. The first step of the Fresh and Full Hydration is exfoliation. We're going to exfoliate using the protocol found in the Biotone Spa Manual or uh, as shown in our YouTube videos. We're going to take a little bit of our Micro Buff Body Polish and apply it in one long, even stroke up the leg. And then to exfoliate, we're going to do three series of small circles. The first series is using our fingertips, little circles, working our way up the leg, paying a little extra attention to the knee because that's rough, dry skin potentially, and then coming up the rest of the leg, come back down to the ankle. Now we're going to use the flats of our fingers and we're going to work a little bit deeper. So our circles are just going to go a little deeper, come all the way up the leg, and then come back down. And now we're going to use our whole hand and again work a little bit deeper. And then at the finish we can just come in and do a few extra circles along the knee, the ankles, and the heels. Again, because that skin might just be a little bit rougher, a little bit drier. Now we're going to go ahead and bring her leg up into a bend, taking this top towel and tucking it under so that she's draped well. Going to get a little bit more Micro Buff Body Polish. My top hand or my head hand is going to go on her knee and then my exfoliation is going to come from my bottom hand or the hand closer to her foot. This is just a good way to do this to protect the client. My position is such that she knows I can see her face, but I'm not down here and looking up in case that towel doesn't feel like it's protecting her. So just from a, a security perspective, it makes the client feel comfortable. Now I'm going to take my foot hand and put it on the knee and use my head hand to do the exfoliation on the back of the leg. Again, three small circles, fingertips, flats of fingers, and whole hand. Returning the client's leg down to the table and cover. We're going to do the same thing on the other leg and then we're going to use um, the Micro Buff Body Polish to do the arms, the belly, and the decollete. Now that we've exfoliated both legs, the arms, the belly, and the decollete, we need to remove the exfoliant product. So we're going to come back to the first leg that we exfoliated and undrape the client. I've already got my warm, moist hand towel ready so I don't undrape her and then have to leave to go get the towel and she might get chilled. I'm going to go ahead and open this towel up all of the way lay it across the leg, and pat, pat. The reason we pat, pat is the Micro Buff Body Polish is water soluble, and this softens the product and picks up most of it before we even begin removal. Now I'm gonna take my towel and fold it in half, and I'm gonna slide that up to match the groin line. And now I'm gonna kinda do like a bunch rub. I'm gonna bunch the towel with my fingers as I sort of rub to pick the product up. And I'm going to bring that all the way down the leg and across the foot. So now I'm going to fold this towel in half, or in a quarter really, and that's going to contain all of that product on the inside. I'm going to bend her knee up, bringing the towel under to keep her well draped. My head hand is going to come to her knee, and then I'm going to use this towel to clean off the product from the back of the thigh. I'm going to bring the towel into this hand, switch so that my foot hand is on the knee, and clean off the back of the calf. Now I'm going to bring her leg across her body so that her foot is just on the other side of her knee. This gives me the ability to push her knee to the side and really clean off the back of the hip and thigh, as well as do any touch-up work. This particular protocol, we're using the Serenity Massage Lotion as our wrap product and our finished product. 
So we want to make sure that we get all of the Micro Buff Body Polish off of the leg or she'll still feel it there when the therapy's over. So while this leg is resting here, I'm going to fold this bottom towel in. So there might be some product on the inside of it. So we'll fold that in. Now I have a nice clean surface to bring her leg back down onto. I'm just going to rock her leg there so I can bring this towel out and I'm going to cover her back up. Now we're going to use that same protocol to remove the product from the other leg, the belly, the arms, and the decollete. Now that we've removed the exfoliant from the interior of the body, we need to exfoliate the back. So we're going to go ahead and cross her hands over her chest to hold her towel in place. And I'm going to have you just bend your knees up for me slightly. This way when I go to lift her, it doesn't hurt her back. If the legs stay long and straight and the client comes to lift up, it could create a little back string. We don't want to do that. I'm going to place my hand under her neck, but at the, at the top of her shoulders and not up on the head. I don't want to do this. I want to be able to come in and support her in the movement up. My, this hand is going to come onto the front of her hands. We're going to go one, two, three, and lift. There we go. And now I'm going to get my Micro Buff Body Polish and apply that in a long string up the spine. And then working from the center out, I'm going to do my three circles. Fingertips. Flats of fingers. And whole hand. I'm get a little bit more product. And I'm going to come in and do the same thing on the other side. Fingertips. Flats of fingers. And whole hand. And then I can kind of work around the whole back. Now, I want to exfoliate, so I should see just a little bit of pinkness as that dry, dead skin layer is exfoliated off. All right. Now, I've already got my warm, moist hand towel ready. I'm going to go ahead and open that up long ways. Check it for temperature. Make sure it's not too hot. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to drape it across her shoulders so that it'll stay in place. And now I'm going to pat, pat. And kind of while I'm doing that, I'm cleaning my hand off a little bit too. Getting that exfoliant off of my fingers. And now we're going to remove that. All right. Now I'm going to fold the part of the towel that's touched her skin in. And now I just end up with like a little ball. This is all clean and I can use that to touch up. Because I want to make sure I get all the exfoliant off before I apply our Serenity Massage Lotion. That comes off so easily, it's wonderful. Now I'm going to take this towel and kind of just clean off in between my fingers and get the exfoliant off of me too, because now when I go to apply the Serenity Massage Lotion, I don't want to actually reapply some of the buff. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. And then before we lay her down, we're going to roll this towel into her bottom. Okay, support her neck and head, and come on back. There you go. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have to remove this bottom towel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this on either side, and I'm just going to have her go ahead and push up on her hips, and then I'm going to have her lift her feet up, and I'm going to slide that right off the table, and this is going to go in my laundry bin. And now we're ready to apply the Serenity Massage Lotion to the entire rest of the body. The second step of our fresh and full hydration is the application of the Serenity Massage Lotion. So we're going to go ahead and apply that to the rest of the body. This is not massage. We want to apply a liberal amount. We want it to be relatively thick because we're going to wrap the client and we want it to absorb into the skin. So we're going to go ahead and apply that up the leg, bend the knee, apply to the back of the leg, and bring the leg down. And now we need to wrap in the plastic wrap. And recover. So I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing to the other leg, the arms, belly, and the decollete.
and now we wrap her in the thermal blanket. I want to go ahead and bring her legs close together. That'll let me get a tighter wrap. And when I go to wrap, I'm going to take the thermal blanket about three inches down, let this piece fold over, and I'm going to bring it across close to her head. Come down a few inches to here and bring that across. And you can see this tight corner there. That's what we want. We want that thermal blanket to fold over and have that tight corner. And then we're going to bring this across her feet. And then the same thing on the other side. About three inches down, close to the head, a couple inches down, tight corner, across the feet. And then down here, to hold the thermal blanket in place, what I'm going to do is wrap this around, lift her feet up, and tuck it under, and that'll get it nice and tight there. And then we're going to do the same thing with our upper blanket, our regular blanket, about three inches down, close to the head. Now the reason that I do the thermal blanket and the regular blanket in separate layers is it creates a tighter wrap. You can do them all together, but now you only have one layer of wrap, whereas the way we're doing it, we have thermal blanket, thermal blanket, regular blanket, regular blanket, and it makes it more tight and a little bit harder to fall apart. And then there. Now, if you happen to have a larger client, you may need a wider blanket. You could also take a bed size blanket or a twin size blanket and turn it so it's long ways this way. Or you can take a hand towel or a regular towel and just lay it across the wrap to give it a little weight and that'll keep the wrap from opening up. And now we're ready for our face treatment. I've opened up the wrap so I have access to her whole head because we're going to be working on her face and her scalp and we don't want to be fighting with our materials here. So our first step is to take a warm moist hand towel. We don't want this to be dripping at all. There should be no dripping water, right? Because we don't want water running down the side of her neck and whatnot. We're going to take this towel, check it for temperature, ask her, is that okay? Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it so that it comes down into basically a little T at the bottom. And then I'm going to bring it across her eyes and her nose, making sure I leave a little opening there so she can breathe easy. Right? And while that's there for about a minute, we're going to go ahead and just come along the temples and do a little bit of some scalp work. Just little circles working across the scalp line. And I can come up underneath a little bit and get along the occipital ridge as well. And that always feels really good. All right, so we'll do that for about a minute and then we'll remove this towel. This is to help us clean off any makeup or dirt or oil that may be on the skin. So I'm going to take those two ends and I'm going to start working from the chin and under the chin back toward her ear and then working up, making sure I come across the t her lips and the tops of her lips. Mm -hmm. And this feels really good, this warm towel. How, how do you like that? It's good. It's nice. And then again, always in an upward motion. And then I can fold this towel in some, get kind of a little bit of a bunch and then do some long strokes up and through the top of her hair. And then this will go over here into my laundry basket that I have waiting for linens. Now I'm gonna get my micro refiner. We're gonna use this to prepare her face for the face massage. Avoiding the eyes, I'm going to apply, starting at the chin, in a smooth, even layer and again, working in those upward strokes. And I want the product to be smooth on the skin. I'm trying to get rid of any little clumps. Okay, and then once I have that, it's the same technique we used on the rest of the body. Small circles, I'm gonna use my fingertips here Really light pressure. And 
and I'm going to do three passes a little bit deeper with each one and then I'm going to go ahead and get a second warm moist hand towel out check that for temperature and then I'm going to lay this towel across the same exact way let me know is, is this temperature okay yeah. Okay. Bringing that point together at the chin and then covering, leaving a little spot for the base. Now here, I'm just going to kind of pat this and then I can do a little bit of scalp as well for about a minute. And then once our minute's up, same as we did the first time, starting underneath this, the chin and pulling out toward the ear and up making sure to avoid the eye. And now I'm going to switch my product and get out my facial therapy massage cream. I'm going to apply that evenly starting at the chin and working in short upward strokes. So. Now we want to move into our face massage. The, the point of this is just to hydrate and refresh. But while we're working, we may as well try to get a little extra oomph. The intention for all women on their face is for it to stay up and tight, right? So we're going to bring our motions up, coming from the chin around all the way up to the temple. Chin can come underneath the jawbone, around and up to the temple. And then I'm going to work in a little bit. I'm going to start at the chin and work around and come up the side of the cheek past the temple. Across the lips, up over the cheekbone, down the nose, around the eyes, and up. The bridge of the nose, up. The sides of the nose, to the eye along the base of the eyebrows and up. And now we're going to come back with little short movements. And from the eyebrows up to the scalp. We're going to apply our facial therapy massage cream to the face in short upward motion. So I'm going to start at the base of the chin, again coming up to the top of the scalp. I'm going to avoid her eyes. Upward strokes encourage the skin to go up. We don't, nobody wants to be like this. So we don't want to do downward strokes, we want to do upward strokes. So every movement is up. So I'm going to come from the base of her jawbone here and trace the jawbone up to the temple, the base of her chin, across her face, up to the hairline, across the lips. avoiding the eyes up to the hairline. The bridge of her nose, across the eyebrows, and up to the hairline. The whole forehead up. And then I'm just going to continue that with broader movements. I'm just going to keep repeating those movements for maybe three or four passes. And this is just really, it's meant to be gentle and relaxing. I'm going to come in underneath the zygomatic arch here. Just a little bit of pressure and up. Little pinches to the eyebrows. Lifting that skin up. Do that on both sides. And I could repeat that two or three times. I like to bring 
my middle fingers on the each side of the nose and come up right underneath the ridge there of the ocular bones and gently work around and then bring it up. And I'll repeat that a few times as well. How's that feel? Good. Is it relaxing? Mm-hmm. Good. I'm going to do some short movements, kind of working quickly in this upward direction. And then I'm going to do a little tapping along the jawbone, the cheekbone, and the top of the scalp. And we're going to bring that into the earlobe. So I'm going to pinch the bottom of her earlobe and pull it down a little bit and away. And then I'm going to roll my fingers around her earlobes and off. And most people find this very relaxing. And I'm going to bring that around to the base of the occipital. And then down through the lamina groove of the neck. So we would massage the face, the neck, and the scalp for about eight minutes, give or take. And at that point, we'll go ahead and finish up and we'll unwrap her and move into our regular massage finish. The third step of our fresh and full treatment protocol is the finish. In this case, that's a massage using the Serenity Massage Lotion that's already on the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap my client. And I'm gonna do this one layer at a time and kind of slowly, because most likely the room is cooler than it is inside of that wrap. And I don't want her to get a, a draft or a chill. So I'm gonna lift her feet so that I can get that out. How you doing there? Okay. And now I need to remove the plastic wrap from her. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undrape her leg and I'm going to pull this plastic wrap off and I'm going to roll it into itself. And that allows me to contain the product inside of the plastic wrap. I'm going to take her leg, and bend it up, and I'm going to cross it over. That lets the leg hold itself for a moment. And while I do that, while it's there, I'm gonna fold this plastic in, fold the thermal blanket in, fold my top regular blanket in, and fold my sheet in. Now her leg is gonna come back down on top of that sheet, protecting my regular blanket and my thermal blanket from product. So we'll just go ahead and do that the rest of the way around. You might have noticed while I did that, I made sure to keep the plastic, the thermal blanket, my regular blanket and sheet all separate. That's very important because as we transition her into the regular massage setup, if all of that material is wrapped up in each other, this next step won't work properly. So we're going to go ahead and bring her arms across her chest to hold her breast straight in place. Go ahead and bend your knees for me. I'm going to take my hand in the same place underneath her 
her shoulder there and I'm going to bring the plastic with me. So my hand's going underneath the plastic. Okay, one, two, three, lift. So you see the plastic came with me there. I'm going to leave that there for a second because this is going to kind of keep her warm. While I come here, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take my thermal blanket and I'm going to roll it. And then I'm going to take my regular blanket and my top sheet and I'm going to accordion these. And that's really important. We need to keep this upper edge, that clean edge, available to us. Now I'm going to come and pull off this plastic and roll that into itself. All right. And then you're going to come back down slowly. Keep your knees bent for me. Now here, I need to grab the plastic, the thermal blanket, the regular sheet, and the, the regular um, blanket all at the same time. So in between my thumb and my pointer finger, I'm gonna grab the thermal blanket and the plastic. And with all these other fingers, I'm gonna grab this whole bunch of material. Don't just grab the top. Make sure you get the whole bunch of the material. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. Now you lift your hips slightly for me. And now you lift your feet. And I'm gonna bring this all the way off and back up. Now at this point, I have my plastic wrap. I have my thermal blanket, which I can just kind of drop off the bottom of the table. This I can throw in my laundry basket or my waist bin. And now we're ready to give her the finish or the five minute massage. Now this could be a short finish, again, five minutes, or it could be longer. We could do a half an hour add-on. You're gonna base your price on the total length of the session. So if you wanna do a wrap in the facial and you wanna be in and out in under 60 minutes, you're probably gonna be doing a five minute finish. But if you wanna do a 90 minute session, then you can do a half hour finish. It's up to the client and you just price accordingly. So last thing here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out this top towel. So I'm gonna hold this sheet here at the edge and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this across her chest. And I'm just gonna work this towel around and out to the side to get that one out of the way. Put that in my laundry bin. And that's Biotone's Full and Fresh Hydration Protocol. Thank you for viewing Biotone's Fresh and Full Hydration Protocol. For this protocol, we used the Microbuff Body Polish, Serenity Massage Lotion, Facial Therapy Micro Refiner, Facial Therapy Massage Cream, eight warm moist hand towels, and two rubber spa bowls. We also had a thermal blanket and plastic sheath on our table for the treatment. Session time is 60 to 90 minutes, Recommended price is $100 to $150, and the cost per treatment is $1.78. Visit Biotone.com to browse our video library, and click on the Biotone Experience link to see our upcoming open house schedule, and to view and print additional spa menu ideas.